We're in a very transitional time in healthcare. So our challenge was how can we improve technology that we have in the hands of our nurses and create an environment in which we can all be successful and all deliver the best care possible to our patients. I have a long line of nurses in my family. I was raised with the belief that it's a profession to be very proud of, making a difference in people's lives. We have a large multi-specialty unit, 41 beds. It's such a huge variety and you're constantly kept on your toes. The first thing I do every day on my shift is to check the Phillips Guardian. This system allows us to see which patients are trending abnormally and allows us to intervene earlier than we would have been able to in the past. What's going on, Tracy? Her O2 sat went from 95 down to 85. Respirations also have spiked up to 35. When a patient gets in trouble, we know before they get in deep trouble. Is that feeling a little better? And the best measurement for that is how many patients don't code in our building. If you walk into Saratoga Hospital, you'll see the Phillips name on a lot of our technology. One of the things that our nurses have repeatedly said to us is the more we have technology to monitor our patients and keep them safe, the better care we deliver. Good afternoon, Mr. Smith. And so we at Saratoga believe that investment in that technology, we're not only serving the community, but as importantly, we're serving the clinicians who've chosen to work here with us. We use the Guardian system every day, and every day we can intervene earlier because of it. Innovation and you, Phillips.